Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Dior All Weather Denim, which is a very comfortable and durable pair of travel jeans. And I was really excited when I first heard about these as they seem like they'd be the perfect addition to any minimal travel wardrobe. And so I've been testing these out for the past couple of weeks and so far it's been a really great experience. They offer the versatility and style of some of my favorite jeans, but they also have some additional benefits such as moisture wicking and anti-odor properties. So I'm really excited to share them with you guys and I want to thank the company for sending the jeans for me to test out. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting out with the overall aesthetic, I really like the look and feel of these jeans. In the past, whenever I've looked at travel clothing, it always seems like there's a bit of a compromise between functionality and look. And this is the first pair of pants that I felt that really kind of marries those two options really well. So the jeans just end up looking like a lot of my favorite style jeans. I feel like I can wear these in pretty much any environment, whether I'm going to work or walking around for my day to day, or even for dressing up to go out for a night on the town. So it definitely feels like I can take them anywhere. On top of that, these are meant to be a little bit more for the outdoors due to some of the additional features that they have that we'll discuss a little bit later in the video. So just a really solid implementation overall as far as the look and to better showcase the aesthetic of these pants I wanted to place it next to a few different pairs that I normally use so first up I have a pair of Levi's 510 jeans which I really like they're very comfortable and versatile and so placing them next to each other you can see that the denim looks very similar I really like that even though this has spandex it doesn't look like a lot of the cheaper stretchy jeans that you see that kind of just form really tightly around your legs so they end up still looking very nice and durable even next to a pair of traditional denim such as a pair of Levi's. The other pair of pants that I wanted to compare this to is the Western Rise AT Slim, which I really enjoyed using. And these also managed to avoid looking too much like a technical travel pant. And they have a little bit more of a chino-like aesthetic, but a very nice look and a very interesting fabric. Like the Dewar pants, these also have some additional benefits like breathability, stretch, and water resistance, but they don't look quite as premium or thick as the denim in my opinion. So if I had to pick one of these clothing items, it's nice to now have a more traditional denim, which I feel is gonna fit in just a little bit better into more environments. The all-weather jeans are offered in this indigo-like color that you see here and in a black. And then they also have them in a slim fit version, which is what I have here in the footage. You can see that they do hug my legs a little bit more, but they also have them in a relaxed fit if that's a little bit more your style. As far as the fit, the pants have felt great. They're pretty true to size. I normally wear a size 34, which is what I have here, and it fits me really nicely. It's been very comfortable to wear. As far as the inseam, I got it with a 32 inseam, which is a little bit long for me. I'm normally about a 31, so I will likely look to have these tailored in the future, but they do have them in a variety of lengths depending on your height. Speaking of the length of the jeans, regardless of how long you get them, a nice touch on the inside is that if you do need to roll them up, they have this nice Dewar logo on the inside that also adds a little bit of reflectiveness. So if you're riding your bike at night, this is gonna make you a little bit more visible. So a nice little bonus feature there. This is pretty interesting. It does add a little bit more of a distinct look, which may not be everybody's style, especially with this yellow line here. But I personally think it's a really nice addition. And if you don't wanna use it, you can just roll the jeans down and you can't even tell that it's there. Continuing along the outside, the pants have a nice durable buckle and then a YKK zipper along the front. And then jumping into the pockets, nothing really special here, just your traditional kind of jean style pockets. So you have two on the front that offer a nice amount of depth. And then on the right hand pocket, you have this inner coin area that actually goes pretty deep. I was surprised that I was able to fit my iPhone 11 Pro in here pretty easily. This doesn't go quite as deep as the inner compartment on the Western Rise AT Slims, but still just a really great job of adding some additional versatility here. On the back, you have your standard back pockets, and these have a nice amount of space. They would easily be able to fit a wallet or a phone if that's where you like to carry them. One thing that I was a little bit sad to see is that there is no sort of internal zippered security pocket, which is always a nice addition for a pair of travel pants. Moving into the materials, the jeans are made out of a blend of cotton, cool max polyester, and spandex, which keeps the jeans feeling very comfortable and soft, and it also gives them a nice amount of stretch, which is really nice compared to a lot of the traditional jeans that I normally wear. This additional stretch is really what makes these pants feel like they would work well in the outdoors so that if you're hiking or riding a bike, they're gonna move with you very easily and just be very comfortable in pretty much any situation. Due to the mixture of the materials used here, in addition to the comfort, they are also very moisture wicking, which helps keep them pretty breathable and it prevents odor from building up quite as quickly, which is gonna be really important if you're using this while you're trying to travel a little bit more minimally. And then the materials used here also offer a decent amount of water resistance. So these aren't gonna keep you fully protected in a downpour. They're not 100% waterproof, but if you happen to get caught in some lighter rain or spill a drink on you or something like that, the pants should do a good job of keeping you dry. 
And so the last thing that I want to talk about is the windproof membrane that this has on the inside, which really makes these an all weather jean. And so this membrane is composed 100% out of polyester, but it feels pretty soft and it's been very comfortable so far. And this extends from the top all the way down to the bottom. So here in the leg, you can see that it comes all the way down. And for the most part, it feels like this has done a great job of keeping wind out, but it also does a good job of regulating your temperature. So whether I'm wearing this in a humid, hot climate like the one that I live in, it hasn't felt too bad. I felt like the moisture was able to escape the jeans pretty nicely considering the robustness of the membrane and it's just kept me feeling pretty comfortable regardless of the climate and weather that I've been in. And then if you want to wash the jeans, it's a pretty straightforward process. You just have to turn them inside out and then you can machine wash them and there are some instructions on the inside of the jeans to prevent any damage from happening. So overall, just a really impressive pair of pants. I've definitely enjoyed using them. They've been very comfortable to wear. They look great. I'm gonna be using them on a lot of trips going forward. And if you're looking for something durable and comfortable that you're gonna be able to use in a ton of different environments, this is gonna be a great option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a really great experience testing out the Dewar all-weather denim over the past couple of weeks. They've been very comfortable to wear, they feel very well built, they look great, and I really love the added benefits of the moisture wicking and anti-odor properties. And so you can currently purchase these on Dewar's site for about $200, which is definitely on the expensive side, even for travel clothing. With that being said, it does feel like you're getting a lot of value for your money. These do really have a very premium build, and I love the added benefits that you get with all the different features that they've added on these jeans. So if you have a little bit of a higher budget and you're looking to invest in some great travel clothing, it might be worth the additional cost. And so as I was testing these out, another pair of pants that this reminded me of was the Western Rise AT Slim Pants, which we looked at pretty recently. Those were also very comfortable and durable. They didn't have the same aesthetic as these jeans. Obviously they looked a little bit more like a chino, but I love the way that those look. They had a nice stretch that made them very comfortable to wear, similar to these. They were very quick drying and lightweight. And so if you're looking to save a little bit of money and you just want something very versatile that's gonna work well for your day to day or for quick trips, the Western Rise AT Slim Pant is gonna be another great option to test out. And if you're interested in other versatile items like this that are gonna help you build out a minimal travel wardrobe, I definitely recommend you check out the videos that we did for the Vessi Cityscape sneakers, the Bluffworks Threshold t-shirt, and the Bowback Sweatshirt 2.0. And if there are any other clothing items that you think I should feature on the channel, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I want to go ahead and thank the company again for sending the jeans for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.